Welcome to another edition of MCAT Strategy. Today's episode will be on course selection for MCAT success, and it will be the first of two videos that I will present on the topic. Choosing the right courses in university and college to give you the background information required for the MCAT is very important. There are some courses that are pretty much prerequisites for the MCAT and are absolutely necessary to write the MCAT. However, there are also many other courses that can help you to prepare for the various sections of the MCAT because the prerequisite courses often will not give you absolutely 100% of everything that you need. So I will attempt to go through the courses that are needed for the MCAT and other courses that will be helpful for the MCAT. And each school has different courses to offer, but this will be a general guide. And you can uh, contact your school and talk to an academic counselor if you want more information. So I get a lot of questions from people who are entering their freshman year of university. I'm going to call it university because I'm in Canada, but obviously down in the States, you guys call it college. So I will be discussing uh, where to begin in first year university. So the most basic courses that you will need for the MCAT are first year biology and first year chemistry, and they should be full year courses. These are pretty much no-brainers because not only do they prepare you for the MCAT, they are required by most medical schools. Those two courses will cover a lot of topics that are covered on the MCAT. Some schools have variations on uh, first year biology, chemistry, and physics courses. For example, my school has a physics course that is geared towards non-science students, and it is a first year course. But if you do intend to write the MCAT and pursue medicine, you should be taking the courses that are geared towards science students if you are not already enrolled in science, if you're enrolled in uh, social sciences or arts, for example. In my opinion, first year physics is a must because the material that you learn in high school does not go into enough depth to really cover all the bases for the MCAT. and. I've seen people go and write the MCAT and do fine on their physical sciences without physics, but I really do feel strongly that you should take a first year physics course because most students writing the MCAT will have taken it, and if you don't take it, you're going to need to learn the principles on your own anyways. So if you don't take it, then you will be playing catch up to the other students. Again, take the first year physics that is geared towards uh, science programs and not the ones that are geared towards other faculties in order to complete their science uh, requirements. In first year, there are lots of arts and social science courses that are useful for preparing you for the verbal reasoning and writing sample sections. A lot of uh, students, especially science students, when they reach university, they tend to neglect the arts and social sciences, such as English, history, psychology, and sociology, and uh, there are many others. And this causes problems later down, when, uh, later on, when they write the MCAT, because one, they are not used to reading as much material because these courses have a lot more reading than science courses. And two, you know, they are not used to reading non-scientific writing, which gives them problems for the verbal reasoning section. So these courses tend to have a heavier reading load, and that will help you to prepare for the verbal reasoning because you will be forced to read efficiently. And as a bonus, they, it will all, these first year courses will also provide you with useful examples that are relevant for the writing sample prompts. There is a note which is kind of a warning. Um, courses that have an essay component in university are generally very difficult to do well in. The reason behind that is because uh, professors and TAs very rarely give 90s on essays and they are extremely hard to get. 
So that covers uh, first year university. For most uh, students, they will be taking three full year courses, uh, your biology, chemistry, and physics, and then they will take electives. And when you're taking electives, I did recommend uh, an arts and science, uh, or an arts or social science course that preferably doesn't have an, a really large essay component. So now we will move on to second year of university. I personally consider organic chemistry a prerequisite for the MCAT. Uh, it is highly recommended that you do take a full year of organic chemistry to give you the necessary tools in order to tackle the organic chemistry problems in the, on the MCAT. Some people, however, opt not to take it or just take half a year, but really if you don't take all of the organic chemistry, you'll, you will need to pick it up on your own. And if you don't have a natural affinity for organic chemistry, picking it up on your own is fairly difficult. Also, a lot of medical schools also have organic chemistry as a requirement, so if that's the case, then you are really killing two birds with one stone. You're getting the organic chemistry you need for the MCAT and for uh, medical school requirements. So that's the first part of my video. I will be coming back soon and giving you the second part of the video, which will discuss more second year courses that are useful for the MCAT, and it will discuss senior level courses. As usual, any suggestions, comments, or discussion is welcome. And please rate, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, keep on practicing. This is MCAT Strategy, logging off.